The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to Gate City Chronicles. I'm Kevin Avard, your host. And today we have a couple of students here that are moving on to college, and uh, they're going to be talking about a project that they had and uh, with some great success. So I want to welcome to the show Dino Mitchell. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. And Troy Lustig. Lustig. All right, guys, welcome to the show. Appreciate nice you coming on. Great to be here. All right. Awesome. So uh, you both went to uh, National North. Yes, we did. Uh, yeah. And uh, you graduated. Mm -hmm. But in the process, uh, you, you guys were involved with the filmmaking. Yes. Right. Yes, we did. And uh, whose idea was this? Uh, <laughs> I think it was mutual. Yeah, it was, it was definitely good. mutual. You know, we're both in the film, and we said, what, what can we make a film about? Right. And I have long hair. Let's we use that. I look like a painter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he definitely you know. he has this artist vibe to him. Yeah. Thank you. And Thank we you. wanted to make a movie that no one else is making movies but you know, another, not a movie about like high school kids like getting bullied or something. We wanted to make something different, something How unique. How can we stand out? Right. Yeah. And yeah. you know, we so, sooner or later, the script came together. We, you know, we always work together on projects. Yeah. This isn't our first short mm. film. And I've known him since what, sixth grade? Yeah, sixth right. grade. We've, we've been making like short movies in my driveway since yeah, that's we how it little started. guys. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, sure. Yeah. You know? Right. So did you start off with, uh, with with a regular video camera, or did you have an iPad, or what would so, you use? So, <laughs> my brother, he's a, a senior at a UMass Amherst now. He's in actually New York City acting, too. He's okay. taking online classes. So he's kind of, you know, bringing the dream to a reality. He's like, oh, we can really do this in the future. Yeah. But when we were younger, he was in this video production class. And he was making short films, and we're like in middle school, and we're like, hey, we can do that too. Like, that was the coolest Yeah, thing. we were like, so, oh, that's awesome. Him and his friends would go make these short films, and they were great. And we were like, we can do that. Yeah, why can't we do it? So we, you know, I took my dad's camera, and we'd go in my driveway, and, you know, play Army Men. Like, just a little that's silly, cool. like, you know, very. I hope you kept them, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, no, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got the family videos cool. for sure. There's one where I have like the most shortest hair. It was crazy back <laughs> then. But, uh, you know, we grew. Uh, I think we got smarter from it. We definitely learned from our experiences yeah. starting so early. Yeah. And uh, our brother really, you know, trailblazed the way for us. He was a trailblazer. And oh, yeah. Definitely the pioneer to, yeah. you know, coach us. So, mm -hmm. And then not. we got to high school. We had all these ideas. We, you know, it wasn't our first time behind a camera. And the equipment they provide for us at the Nashua schools is yeah. unbelievable. So you, you basically use the, uh, the system down in uh, Nashua South, mm -hmm. right? right? They yeah. offer a video production program. Yeah. So, something similar to Na Access Nashua here. Yeah, yes. it's well, yeah. So cool. when you walked into there and you saw, oh, look at all this equipment. Yeah, this is like a dream come true. Right. It was cool. Oh. Yeah. It was like we finally get to, yeah. you know, we're at our state mm -hmm. where we want to be. They had MacBook Pros. They yeah. Had JVC you cameras, know, this stuff everything. don't come cheap. And, right. No. You know, that was so that was one thing that used to be holding us back, you know, using my dad's old little VHS camera. And now we have, like, you know, tripods and dollies and lighting equipment and, you know, anything. Oh, yeah. so, Mike's. So you guys did some brainstorming. You, you sat down and you decided to come up with a, a theme, a, a project. Right. Uh, how long did it take you to write the story? <sighs> we had a few scripts. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think, give or take, at least eight months. It was yeah. a long ah. process. Yeah. And, and so once the script was written, how many people were involved with, uh, with the script writing? Just you two? I wrote the draft, the initial draft, sent it to my main actor and my brother mm -hmm. to get, you know, a little... Uh, feedback. creativity feedback and you know they told me what they liked what they didn't like we workshopped it kept it going and by the fourth script we finally had something yeah, I think we, we liked we were proud mm -hmm. of we were like okay let's make this movie let's do it and it was a process you know yeah. then people don't you, know, you can't just go and like set up a tripod and start filming you gotta right. you gotta exactly. plan it out it's we hard. 
I could see it all in my head. I directed and wrote the film. He stars in it, and I was, you know, I could see all the locations. I wanted to really capture Nashua, you know, in yeah. ways that people don't always see it. You know, so was that the part of the theme, is, is capturing Nashua? I uh, think more as it went along, that was, that was cool. But the theme was just getting a story and script that was right. good enough for us. We didn't want to shoot in a school or a house or, like, a forest. Because that's where we watch these short films. And they're all the this, same. Yeah, it's like, oh, here's the classroom scene. Here's the, you know, that's obviously the kid's house that they, mm -hmm. you know. And it's just dry. It didn't have any soul to it, I oh, feel like. I don't, yeah. yeah. It's like, why would somebody want to watch our film? Right. Right. So we just want to give them reasons. So did you get Janots in the in the, in the We did not we get Janots. That's <laughs> one place we missed no, out. No, but we the feel is definitely a Janots vibe, yeah. if that makes any sense. Yeah, That's, it does. Well, we were talking off off uh, off air about Janots and how it has a big meaning to a lot right. of us, and oh. it's a staple. It's a it's a it's a warm spot in yeah. many people's hearts, and uh, we hope that it uh, it continues for many many years. That's but uh, yeah, so you, you captured different locations around Nashua. Mm -hmm. Any any particular locations, or just all? All in Nashua? Um, well, a couple in Merrimack. We went to DW's Pizzeria okay. up on uh, DW Highway. Great place. Try nice the gyro. Gyro. Gyro's gyro. are great. Gyro's are <laughs> great. Uh, we talked to the owner. That was our first like location we wanted to set down. Mm. and like So that was our first experience. Like, hey, can we shoot a movie here? He's like, yeah, of course. Yeah. And he was the nicest guy. You know, let us shoot there the whole night. Nice. And, uh, we shot at Hampton Beach one day, 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. Yeah, we drove. What time did we drove? Like yeah, we, we, we woke up at like 3.30 in the morning. Sunrise. We had to get this sunrise. It's really important. It was like the climax of the movie. It's like everyone's favorite part of it. <laughs> and it's, really it's, cool. it's the middle of winter, and we drive there at 3 a.m. Like watching it, you would never think that it's so cold, yeah. but we were free. We got frostbite. I was <laughs> freezing. And then I touched the water. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't was, in a shot, but I touched the water, and my hands were so cold. It was terrible. There's this video of us, this gag reel of us afterwards driving back. Yep. And he's just so mad at me. He's like, what are we doing? Why do you, how did you convince me to come here? Yeah. Troy's like excited. He's like, yeah, ooh, we like, shoot a yeah. movie. And I'm just like, get away from yeah. me. Get away they from were me, so, bro. Because it was, it was miserable. And it's hard, but filmmaking's hard. It's a job, yeah, you know? Exactly. And if it's So lighting. You, right. uh, you, lighting, set, uh, the, a lot of different things. And then, of course, the editing. Who did all the editing? This guy. He, oh, wow. Amazing. Talk, talk about editing. What, what is the process Ooh. when it comes to editing? Editing is hard. So we knew we had wanted it had to be under seven minutes for the New Hampshire Student Film Festival. So that was set already. Which, by the way, you guys took that home. Yeah, right? we were a jury finalist. Yeah. Third so third, yeah, third place. Nice. So that was a bit. That was huge for us. That was the first recognition we got. That was mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Yeah. Only one from our class to win anything. It was. It was cool. Oh, yeah. good. Represent Nashua. Of course. Yeah, right. And so it, you had so, to keep yeah. it within seven minutes yeah. to tell a story in seven minutes. Which we had so many, like, nice mm -hmm. shots, and it was hard to cut out because, like, oh, should right. I cut this out or should I leave this we in? Had, you know? I had, like, two hours of the sunrise, you know, the sunrise, and just the most gorgeous, like, amazing shots. I think I maybe used 15 seconds. If that. Mm -hmm. you, It was hard. That. you got to be disciplined. You have to. Uh, there was a longer edit. Sent it to Dino. Sent it to my brother. You know, yeah. got feedback. Um and it was too long. It didn't. It didn't flow. You know, there's shots that were so nice, but you got to make time. You got to cut for the better of the it's film. Like, do you really need that? You right. Know? Where did you get the music? Did you did Did you have music? So my brother composed three original tracks for it, which was great. I don't great. Know, yeah, it really. I don't know. It's a great feel. It wasn't just like a little piano. Like he's it's like an iTunes yeah. thing, just clicking. Through. I don't know. It was. It's definitely unique. Goes along with our feel. And um, we reached out to this Israeli band who had a song for our end credits that we thought would be perfect. And they said we could use it. what? Uh, this, there was this Israeli band called Tiny Fingers. Really? And we, I wrote Good to them on Facebook, you know, and it was, I listened to one of them. I was like, I love your music. Can I use this track in my short film? And they're like, yeah, sure. Like, yeah, they were, you know, through broken English, we contacted through email. And, That's cool. Yeah. yeah. And it, it's like, and it's really cool. Learned, just ask, you know, right. it's like, even with shooting, like, you mm -hmm. never know if you don't ask. Right. We did, you know, we right. got a great shot to... Pizza yeah, place, people yeah. are always like scared, like, oh, you know, I'll write my own music. Exactly. But. And, and you're going to further this, uh, your careers in, in, at UMass, and you're going to? National Community College. National Community College. And are, are they both, now you're going to study art? No, I'm studying uh, machining. Machining. Yeah. And I'm going to be an economics major. Economic major. And this is just a project that <laughs> yeah. okay, everybody says. That's so cool. Huh? <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, why did you go to film school? What are you doing? No, no. no but, yeah, it's like, you know, we've gotten this far without, without proper, you know, proper training. And it's, 
there's no requirement, you know, there's no one saying like you can't use this, you know, without a degree, like a film right. degree. And I think we feel, you know, we're definitely going to continue and we've been acting and I've worked on a couple projects over the summer and gone to auditions and stuff and uh, yeah. we have a state rep, he's actually he's an actor. Right. Eric, oh, Eric yeah. Eastman. He uh, he lives right up the the road from uh, off of Broad Street. Uh, oh. He uh, he looks like he should be on uh, I don't know. He's got the long <laughs> hair and a beard, and you know, sometimes he comes to the Capitol with a kilt on, you know. But, but, <laughs> Sounds like a character. Yeah, well, he's, he's definitely a character. Yeah. Like Game of Thrones. Or something. <laughs> yeah, he's a good man. Very. Good. But he does that. He does, spends his nights editing, right. and uh, and he good. that's how he, he right. makes a living is with acting. Yeah. But, and like we'd love to make a living off yeah. it. I think you know who wouldn't. But yeah. it's always nice to have a backup. Yeah. You know? It's nice to have so. a little fallback, little comfort. Yeah. So, are you an artist by trade, by by choice, or do you do a lot of art, or are you just <laughs> not at all? No, I'm not just, at all. Neither of us. You're not just the all. character in the film. It's how we met was actually at an art class. It okay. was really funny. That's and, a funny uh, story. Yeah, but not at all. That that painting. I don't yeah, know how he, I painted he, that. he painted. He he actually painted this great painting. You'll see in the clip we'll show later. Yeah. It's a this great you know painting avant garde you know uh, <laughs> painting, <laughs> and it's like his first time ever. Yep. All right. But yeah, in the cool. movie, you so can't. I'm not an artist. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm yeah. just an actor. Yeah, right? He, he plays an artist. I play it off like I could do it, bro. <laughs> you know, but. he's acting. You know, that's why they call that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So, so uh, now, it, this made all kinds of accolades. We saw it in the Telegraph. Yeah. And, so and, we got into the New Hampshire High School Film Festival, uh, Santa Monica Film Festival, Santa right? Monica Teen Film Festival, yeah. and then you know, most recently, we got into the All American High School Film Festival. The so, Manchester one too. Oh yeah, and we yeah. got into the Live for Your Die Film Festival, which is in Manchester. So another that homegrown. Cool. That was really cool. We were only a uh, student one accepted into that. That was wow. really cool, so, at least from Nashua. And then so we're the only kids accepted from New Hampshire for the All American High School Film Festival, which is the largest high school film festival in the world. It's you know so it's going to be screened in Times Square. Yeah. It's uh, biggest really? theater. Yeah, AMC theaters. And we world. were shocked. They had this whole announcement st live stream. You know they you know come That's watch. Cool. The whole time they're talking about, oh, this is the most competitive year ever. Like, don't be afraid if you didn't get in. Like, there's submissions from around the world. You know, 55 like, countries yeah, or something. 2,000 su submissions. Yeah, and we were just like, Ridiculous. there's no, you know, there's like, it was fun. It was, it was fun. We last, had a good run. Yeah, we know? had a good run. And then they call our names, just, oh, and we're just like, kids from Nashville. Yeah, it. it's we're like, cool. no way. So. Our other co-star Josh is like calling his family, and he starts crying. And, you know, he's, awesome. he's the greatest kid. I know those guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was, you know, and then the Telegraph contacted us about doing a story, and we were like, "Cool, we'll be in the community page and stuff." Yeah. And now you're on Gate City Chronicles. Yeah. I mean, yeah. now you've arrived, man. Yeah. Right. We wakes up and like we didn't know. And his dad goes to the gas station and looks over at the newspapers, and we're on yeah. the cover. We're on the front page. And he's page. like, "That's my son." And he brings <laughs> it to these like he's called. He bought me. every yeah. copy. It, it was, was like, pretty funny. We were shocked. It was really cool. That is a cool. Th that's yeah. a cool story. So, uh, is there uh, scholarships involved? I mean, anything to, that to motivate you to do more of this, or uh... honestly, there probably could be, but um, we didn't. I didn't. I think that's on us for not really looking into it. We, I got. I could have went to Emerson. I got into Emerson, and it was an idea of playing around cool. with. They, I sent them my like a portfolio of sorts, but in the end, you know, UMass Amherst just seemed like the better choice for me. Yeah, and I think Very NCC school. is going to be great for him. So you're going to be studying economics. Is economics, that? yeah. Okay, so in, in, do you have a, a direction that you want to go with that? Um, I've just always been interested in it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it'll definitely. I'll be taking a lot of interesting classes. You know, higher learning, get a great education awesome. from it. If anything. Yeah, and uh, we wanna, plan you, on continuing like every summer meeting up and getting yeah. more projects done, and you know, grow and progress. And you know, like four, five years ago, we were making films in my driveway. Now we're on a the show, being interviewed about it. How are you know, yeah. so. And you want to become a machinist? Yeah, I'm, yeah. All, I'm a hands-on learner. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, I always love building stuff, taking it apart. And I think it'll be cool. Yeah, we need more manufacturing people that yeah. can that 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 are like that. That we're finding that. Uh, there's a there's a high need, yeah, especially is. in New Hampshire. Uh, we we need people to uh, to advance at that. So you chose Nashua Community College. Yes, I did. Now, why did you do that? Um, I wanted to stay local, mm -hmm. and honestly, it was affordable. It was right for me. Um, I was actually recommended the program from uh, one of my teachers, Jay Williams. Mm -hmm. He's like, I think this machining would be good for you. This program, so I, I took it up. Now, you know, my, typically when I think of machining, I think of just, is it just working with the lathe? What, or, or has it gotten more complicated than that? I mean, there's a few. There's like four classes. I'm taking one of the like steel things with the machine. 
I think you just like make screws and yep. stuff. Yeah. I'm not too familiar <laughs> with it. Yeah. So obviously you're you're gonna advance, right. you know, oh, yeah, up, up the road with that. And then the internship comes in like a month with it, so that's pretty cool to get that more experience. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, maybe a stock market. Figure? Yeah, we'll see. Wall yeah, that'd Street. Be cool. Wall, Wall Street. Street. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be and cool. then you could be uh, collaborating, and they're, they're yeah. two different worlds, so that's kind of cool. You know, that's, yeah, that's great. Manage the financial side of it. Yeah. So, you know? uh, if somebody wanted to view your film, how would they? How would they? They fit, They see it. YouTube. It's on YouTube. Okay. So you could type in Primary Colors, Troy Lustig, or Dino Mitchell, yeah. and it should be the first video that pops up. Uh, and if they want to come to New York City and view October, uh, 7th, right? October 7th, 8th, and 9th, okay. it'll be yeah. screening in New York City, Times Square. Come through. Any when you say Times Square, you mean just on the big billboards? Well, there's an, a, there's an yeah. AMC theater mm -hmm. there. Okay. So it's, and it's, one, it's like an eight-story theater. It's one of the biggest theaters in the world, I think. And it's crazy. It's going to be in there and stuff. Yeah, it's, <laughs> My face is going to be on that. Yeah, I can't he's, it, he, you know, he's, the, he's in every shot of the short film. He's the yeah. star right here. Thank you. Know? No, that's so cool. Yeah, there's going to be a red cool. carpet. It'll be... It's, Exciting. You sure. might be discovering you know, yeah. like the new Tom Cruise. You know, <laughs> yeah. that's, the, that's the dream. You know? Love Tom Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we have, a, we have a hero here in, uh, in the studio, Dan Young. He does the, a lot of the editing here. And, uh, mm -hmm. I remember one time he had uh, something about a, it was like a horror movie with some kind of melons chasing people. No <laughs> it was absolutely, <laughs> he used my office. Right. It was so cool. But uh, anyways, the attack of the water. <laughs> Can't forgive me. I forgot the name of it. But anyway, it was a short film. But what a blast they had doing it. You know, they oh, had a certain amount of time to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't uh, think they had like 15 minute uh, sun shot, sun, right. you know, sunset shots. But that's cool. So you got most of New Hampshire then. You didn't just get most of Nashua. Yeah. You, it was all shot on yeah. location in New Hampshire. Merrimack, Nashua, Hampton. Uh, where else? I think, that's, I think that's it. Yeah. And it was cool when we first started filming, we had the Nashua Downtown Art Walk. Yeah, that was the cool. art gallery walk in September. Mm -hmm. That was that was Very our first cool. uh, production day, principal yep. shooting. Nice. So that was a lot of fun, you know, because we had to go downtown. Most of the kids in our class and our our age like don't go downtown, yeah, you know. And we're like, it's great, you know. Why? Nashua has a very nice yeah. downtown. If yeah, you if you look around the state, you and you know, this is a, a living mm -hmm. city. Yeah. You know, this is the city is really well put together. It's well run. I mean, you're seeing pianos down now. Down right. Yeah. 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 Right. You know, it, it's it's. It, hopefully it becomes the new, uh, I would like to see a lot more mu music and right. yeah. musicians and uh, this could be the new. Uh, the film community's growing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We got a little film community going on. <laughs> yeah. That's, I think that's a great. It's, yeah. And Nashua's, Nashua's living and uh, we want uh, people to stick around and uh, UMass isn't that far away. Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We've gotten a lot of support from people in Nashua too, just, yeah. you know, giving us solace in the Telegraph. Like I, I, was, yeah. I was working, and right. then somebody was like, I know you. Where are you yeah. from? And I'm like, uh, you the newspaper. That's right. where you're from. And I'm like, yeah, uh, that yeah, was me. Yeah. So I was lifeguard cool. at the city pool near my near Janot's, right down the street. Centennial Pool. Is yeah, we, Centennial yeah. Pool. Yeah. And uh, there's a bunch of, you know, neighborhood kids that come, and they're like, you're in the newspaper. Like, you know, and role model. People, you know, so and everyone's awesome. like, oh, that's so great. Like, great uh, job. All our neighbors. You know. it's, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. So Where do you work? I work at Bob Stores. I saw shoes there. Okay. Beautiful. I know. Hook you up. I'll hook you up. All right. All right. <laughs> Listen, my, my stepson was looking at some uh, some sneakers. We were, I think we were in the in the mall. Uh, in, yeah, I want these. You know, they were gold on the front of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two hundred bucks. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. You know, when you wear a two hundred pair, two hundred dollar pair of shoes, it's like. You're not saying you're a smart person or you're rich. It's like somebody saw you coming. Oh, yeah. You know? That's back but, to school shopping. Yeah, back, that's, oof. $200? That's unheard of. Was it Jordans? I don't they know. They had Jordans. gold. They had like a gold tongue on the front of it. So, Man, that's a, I wouldn't buy them. It's a little too flashy for us. A little us. too flashy. <laughs> it's, listen, they're iron. We can't afford that yet. Yeah, Maybe no, we're not. Years. Years. <laughs> no, eventually. Eventually, yeah. when the money comes in, the royalties yeah. come in, you know. <laughs> Uh, but sure. I, I think they uh, they even have uh, some sneakers where they you can iron them. You've heard of that, right? No. No. You're Mr. Sneaker. No. I oh my gosh! My <laughs> you iron them. They got a spray. They, they clean them, and it's like, are you kidding me? They're not sneakers anymore. They're, really they're cool. not. I don't know what they are, but anyway, Jeez. I'm just telling you, it's out there. <laughs> so, 
Uh, anyway, uh, any final thoughts? Of, uh, how, we we want to see the film. Uh, right. And uh, it's on YouTube you, uh, under mm -hmm. those names that you gave us. Yep. And uh, um, we'll, see, we'll see a little clip of it. Right. Yeah, we'll show a clip. And uh, mm -hmm. we're in contact with an organizer for downtown events. And okay. We want to screen it sometime in February. Put it on a big screen. You know, have a, like just an outside festival type deal, I Everyone's guess. Welcome. So that should that should be promising. That sounds uh, fun. Yeah, I, I, maybe Paul Shea could help you out with yeah. that. I don't. He, he you know does a lot of the downtown stuff. Okay, yeah. And uh, I know um, there's an organization down uh, Positive Street Art. Are you familiar with those guys? No. Uh. Uh, they do light uh, murals. Oh, Instead cool. of there being graffiti, they actually uh, get kids involved with uh, doing murals and, and yeah. kind of a neat. Uh, that could be a good story yeah. to do something on. Yeah. You know, you see a lot of. Have you ever gone down these these big cities and you see this amazing artwork? You know, and some of it's obviously just bad graffiti. Right. But mm -hmm. If you could just use that talent to do it yeah, in yeah. a positive way, right, right? and mm -hmm. uh, help out the community. So that's kind of what positive street art does. That with dance and painting, and uh, it's, it's a great idea. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming on the show. Of course. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, yeah awesome. We, so exciting. How long is the little clip that we're going to see? Uh, 30 seconds. 30, 30 seconds. seconds, okay. So we'll take a look at that yeah. uh, right. right now. When I was little, my father would take my brother and I to the beach really early in the morning. We'd watch the sunrise together. Then went off a feli OD, he would tell me. The dawn of a new day. So thanks for watching Gate City Chronicles, and uh, we, if you have a story, if you've got something you want to share with the public, come on the show, and we'd love to have uh, an interview with you. Until next week, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Gate City Chronicles, and we want to thank our sponsor, Aardvark Cleaning. They've been a sponsor for quite a few years now, and uh, we appreciate them being a sponsor. And if you want to be a guest on our show, contact accessnashua at gmail.com. We'd love to hear your story. Until next week, thanks for watching. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.